In this screencast, I'm going to explain how to use AutoDuck and Audacity to easily adjust the volume of background, background music. Often people want to have music in their intro, then have it fade in the background, but swell louder when you have gaps where no one is talking. AutoDuck is one way to accomplish that. Right now in Audacity, I have a speaking part right here, and then a music track. Here's what it sounds like without any modifications. This is a talking part, and I'm going to Now this gap. is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd okay, like to take a minute just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Okay, so the music track is pretty overpowering. I could make the whole music track quieter, but that's not the effect I'm going for. I want to use AutoDuck. To use AutoDuck, you have to have your music tracks, track selected, so that's it, and you need to have it right above the audio track you're matching it to. Okay, so I've just shifted it up there. Now I'm going to go to the Effect menu and select AutoDuck. Right here it shows you how much it's going to drop the volume down. That's called the duck amount. You can adjust that to be higher or lower. Um, usually the default's pretty good. I've tried it with this song though and I think negative 12 is not going to quite cut it. So I'm going to go negative 15. Okay. So now what you can see is the music here when I'm talking, right here, it's gotten a lot quieter. It swells in this area because that's a gap that I've left and then it gets quieter again as I'm talking, swells again. So let's see what it sounds like. So this is a talking part, and I'm going to leave a gap for the music to swell. And hopefully what you saw with auto-ducking is that the music got louder in that gap. Okay, so much better effect. This probably isn't the best background music to use because the vocals are very overpowering, but now you know how to auto-duck. Thanks for listening and watching.